Yo, what's up, guys? It's the Little Beijing Gamer here, and um, I'm on this filter right now, which I'm gonna show off to you later. Basically, this is probably the, my most favorite filter. It's really easy to come up with. I mean, you probably have already been on it at least once, but for those of you who don't know about it, just gonna show it off, and I'm gonna show you how you can improve it, improve your odds, and just basically make the filter much more efficient and uh, just make more coins. So, anyways. Also, got some pretty big things coming out for, and oh, there we go. Let's see if we can get the small one. No way, yeah, that was gonna be a tough snipe. Yeah, the bots are on here a bot, uh, a bot. The bots are on here a lot. Uh, let's see if we can find a decent player. 88. Ooh, whoa, a 96 drop, that's pretty sweet. Uh, nothing really in I'm interested in. Uh, yeah, that, that's a round which I just wasn't really prepared for. I was trying to, like, keep uh, keep it going. Uh, you can see I'm not really going for any of these. These are still snipes, so uh, let me just point out something. Each of these players will still sell for at least 60 or 57K, so you'll still make 1 to 2K, but it's not really worth my time. Anyways, uh, so these are the options I have. We got a Greg Zerlin, which should sell for 73K. I don't see how he shouldn't. Also have a Roy Miller, which should sell for 58k, which again, uh, I think I picked him up for 40, 40k, which is that original filter, so that's a solid 10, 15k profit. I've been making bank. I started the day out at like 20k, uh, did some live events, jumped up to 40k, and then I've just been using this filter, and uh, I think once this player saw, I should be around 170, 180k. Day's still young, only 4, 13 p.m. So it was the filter. Uh, the basic filter is 40,000 July 4th players. Anyone that pops up in here is a snipe. But see, what the problem is, is that with, uh, the, like, this, as you can see, as you saw, I, I guess I should say, the, there's a lot of bots on here, like, um, especially because there's a lot of money for these elites, because they'll resell for, uh, pretty mu uh, for a lot of coins for those July 4th masters. I'm assuming after... Uh, the promo these prices will drop not probably not some of the higher overalls like the uh, 96s 98s the kickers punters, but uh, So I had to filter out some of the players because like that 101 I wasn't gonna get the 96 I probably wasn't gonna get and that 88 I mean it was off the screen anyways, and so the bots are gonna snatch us up. So what I did 20,000 Oh, no, that's 200,000 so I did 20,000, 40,000 because with my like reaction time and my slow as crap Wi-Fi, I think I think these were possible snipes. I still wasn't paying attention. And again, my Wi-Fi was a little slow. Uh, also, if you really want to, you can filter out 90, the 98s and 96s because those are going to be some hard snipes. And then if you don't get anything or even if you do get something and uh, you still want to scroll snipe, a really good scroll site filter all 50k and what you're okay what you're looking for is a 92 uh really any 92 is good they'll sell for like 65k but a 92 special team player will sell for 70 to 75k as you can see this greg zerlin so i put him up for 73k uh, i wonder if that's low or high now let's go check really quick so i sniped that greg zerlin for 50k scroll snipe he was just sitting there and let's check Greg's for 75k. Whoops, turned off the July 4th. And oh, okay, it looks like a lot of whoa, someone dropped the 60k one. That's kind of weird. Okay, but that was really weird. But because when I uh dropped him, uh, he was the 73k up and he was the cheapest. Someone's gonna catch that 60k one, I can probably tell. But I think that 73k should sell soon. Um, anyways, the second one is also pretty basic playing the live event here we go we're gonna play the fourth of july blitz a lot of people i think just like are at the end of the season they've just said screw it their legacy teams are already done you can really improve your team with this um promo especially with uh you can, or you could just make coins and uh you can put that towards players you actually want but there's 96s, 98s that are pretty easy to get people have been pulling them left and right there's always that um explosion pack which sort of is why i'm doing the live event 
And this is sort of like, I know this may seem like uh, some of the other uh, promos where it's like uh, some of the players are hard to get, but the players are actually really easy to get. 50 fireworks is not that many considering each live event win, you could pull two or three. So if you play it like just like six times, uh, that's how much my stamina bar is. It's like, well, actually no, it's like eight. So eight, and then you, let's say you get around 20 per stamina round. So that's like two stamina rounds, which is, I mean, it's pretty long, but it's a summer. What are you, what else are you doing? And then on top of that, you get the free fireworks pack uh, each day. So that's, if you think about it, that's pretty much a free player, a free elite player each day. Do that for 10 days. Get the boss master. That's a free 99 right there. That's a legitimate free 99. Didn't have to buy anything. Of course, what I'm doing, I'm just selling my players off as fast as I can because, uh, at the start of the promo, each elite was like 100k, and now they're all worth like 50k, which assuming I'm assuming that's where they're gonna stay until the end. So what, what I'm probably gonna do is at the end just like buy up a bunch and then fill out the master for a pretty sweet 99 for my team. Uh, so here you go. I'm just gonna show you that it is pretty easy to get multiple fireworks from one. Of course, sometimes you do get only one. Sometimes you get three. There you go. I got three right there. Um. It's pretty cool. We're gonna go fill out the explosion set. I guess we can do one live on video. See if we pull anything decent. I was gonna make a pack opening video, but then I realized uh, it was only gonna have like four explosion packs, maybe two independence packs. It was gonna be kind of boring. So I just decided to open them on my own. It didn't pull anything good anyways. I pulled 388s. So that's always fun. Uh, I'm getting really lucky. Haven't pulled a, uh, a pack where it was only one. That was pretty cool. Let's go fill out Explosion, and here we go. Let's see if we can pull anything. Really just hoping for a 90 plus. If we can get that 92 Greg Zerlin, that's 70K easy money. What can we pull? Let's see. Something decent. 88 Teron Armstead. That's what I like to see. That's, whew. That's rough. Still gonna put them up for like, whatever, 57. All right, whatever, let's, let's see. That's free 60k, free 60k for 10 days, 600k. Wow, basic math, am I right? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys like these videos, this sort of short, easy coin making guide video. Look at this guy, pulled a freaking 96 map prey deer. Why, why can't I have his uh, luck? If you wanna join this league, I know it's full, but I'm gonna be ready to kick out a lot of inactives. Uh, oof. Oh my gosh, my league has been so lucky. Got 96 Trey Turner there. Anyways, if you like this video and want to see more videos like it, drop a comment down below. Go subscribe, go like. By the way, in the future, you might see a Mad Mobile Stereotypes video. Just an idea I've been bouncing around. Haven't actually come up with the like actual stereotypes. but So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next video.